Five Nights at Freddy's. They just don't get it. Welcome back. This is part three of my first ever playthrough of Five Nights at Freddy's, and I will admit, womp womp womp, I looked up a guide. Actually, I didn't look up a guide. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 don't leave. Uh, so it's not a guide, per se. It is <coughs> specifically just a analysis of how Freddy works, because Freddy's AI is the only one that is very unclear compared to uh, the other ones. Obviously, Foxy, if you're looking at him on camera, he can't progress. Um, and I still don't fully know how Freddy and his laugh work. I think that's your cue to put the door down. But you never see Freddy in the lights. That's just for Bonnie and Chica. And what I looked up when I found it, or what, what I found when I looked it up, is basically just, if I look at the camera for Foxy, I need to put the right door down, that's it. Because that's where Freddy attacks from, and he will only attack you uh, when you put the camera down, I believe. Which is weird. I, I'm kind of bad at explaining it. So I think if I keep doing that, I think that's why I was dying. I was checking for Foxy. Uh, with my right door open, which is a very random thing that he can do. To just be able to walk in without being caught in these lights first. Pretty much bypassing the whole uh, security check. But now that I know that, I can actually progress, because I was stuck here for like 30 minutes. Scared the heck out of me. Though I am getting desensitized to the whole jump scare thing. So I guess it is technically scary, but it's not... I wouldn't call it scary. I know I said scared the heck out of me, but I'd say that's just a figure speech, I still think. I might be dead. I'm dead. I need to get into the habit of always closing that right door, and I'm not in that habit. Can I... Can I go now? I wanna... I wanna replay. Stop making me look at my comically... like, Gary's Mod eyeballs that don't fit in this animatronic. Alright. This is super sweat mode engaged, so... Long story short, I need to check the lights for Chica and Bonnie. Uh, Chica comes from the right, Bonnie comes from the left, but Bonnie is a good boy and almost never shows up in these later nights, at least from my experience so far. Could be wrong, it's only night five, I'm not an expert. And again, I didn't look up a guide, I only looked up Freddy, because Freddy's mechanics are unclear. Um, so that's, that's Chica and Bonnie. Foxy, I need to monitor from the camera to see if he's going to charge me. And the second he bangs on that door, I can open it. And he'll be back in place. But Freddy... Um... Since I'm not checking the cameras due to controller... I'm only checking Foxy's camera. That's going to be difficult, like checking for Foxy and always remembering to shut this door really quick. Because you're supposed to do the whole mouse and keyboard, click on all the different cameras. I thought I heard a noise.
trying really hard. So I'm not talking as much. He's already almost good to go again. I think the game realized it just screwed me out of power, so it's it's like backing off, but too little too late. Yeah, so Foxy banging on my door takes away a lot of power. So I need to just, like, keep staring at him, which is stupid. I think I need to look up how Foxy works as well. I'm waiting to die. I like how they left me alone for a whole 10% this late into the night, though. Okay, I actually don't want to sit here and menu. I don't want to sit there and watch the whole, like, lights out thing. Okay, so I was looking at Foxy, like, how he works in the door, and then I basically, like, read a guide, or, like, a paragraph of a guide saying, like, oh, this is why I think the best strategy is, and I... It's pretty much what I've already been doing, just checking Foxy. So it's kind of like reaffirming that I'm already doing the right thing. So it's not like I looked up a guide to find this strategy. I just happened upon a guide that happened to reaffirm what I'm already doing. So I'm not considering this a guided playthrough, even though it's very close. Um, I just gotta literally just check Foxy. Try not to check the lights too much, I guess.
So I guess Freddy only comes in when I put cameras down as well. Foxy's just trolling, bro. I don't like it. Screwing me up. Jesus. Oof. Had to scratch my face. Foxy's probably already almost. No, he's good. Definitely have the strategy down, just a lot of RNG. For those who don't know what RNG is, it's random number generator and it's what games use to basically give you luck. Which includes good luck and bad luck. Not exactly a game designer or coder, I could never with my dyslexia and ADHD and just lack of interest. Lack of interest in coding, not in games. But yeah, that thing I said. I already forgot, I'm so focused on the game. Foxy is trolling. So weird, I can't see him sometimes. Uh, yeah, I'm out of power, even though I played this nearly perfectly. Just Foxy trolling over and over. I just need to accept that he's gonna sit there for 30 minutes before he's gonna attack me. Not even close to 5 a.m. either. These hours drag on. Alright, as fun as getting jump scared and waiting for the whole musical is, let's restart. I really feel like this beginning section 
is like the key to beating this knight. And I do think when I beat the five knights, I'll be able to literally say I beat five knights at Freddy's. And it'll be a pun because I didn't beat the game, but I literally beat five knights at this restaurant. Because night six and seven, maybe I'll do what I did before and I'll be like, oh, I'm, I'm really motivated to beat them. And I'll hop back on, probably, but if I don't, I can still say I beat Five Nights at Freddy's. FNAF! Probably gonna get jump scared, but I need to reserve power, so not happening. dead. I couldn't turn on the lights and it's because he was literally running into the office. That's crazy. I wonder what the longest amount of time I can go is. I don't want to sit here and just keep replaying it though. And hope that they'll leave me alone for a long period at the beginning so I can have more power for later. I should just try each time, but... Yeah, the luck in the game. It's not, uh, ideal. <sighs> He's laughing already, dude. I'm just gonna try doing a quick shut and reset and see if that stops him. Cause I'm, I'm still doing my Raid Shadow Legends stuff just idly while I'm waiting for these slower parts to get done. Foxy jumps in here at 91%. I'll give it one more try to try to get under 90. Okay, so that was about at the same time. I was just using the lights a little bit, and that's why it drained a little faster. <sighs> Menu, continue. I'll see if he kills me at 91 again, without me doing anything. If he does, then that's exactly when I'll start shutting the door and doing all the stuff. I want to have as much of a head start as I can in this already difficult level. I don't... Obviously the previous, or the next two levels, 6 and 7, are possible, but... not going to force myself to do them if this one is so tedious already. Not tedious, it's not the worst experience in the world, but it can be a bit unreasonable. Let's see if he kills me at 90, because I shut the door a couple times.
doing good. Just listening for footsteps. Kind of trying to do it calmly. Even though I'm out at 2 a.m. and on a third of my power already. While being extremely reserved. Jesus Christ, dude. If I hadn't seen people beat this, I would actually think this was glitched and unbeatable. There's like 15% in one hour or so. I need a whole extra, like, 30% at the rate I'm going. Yeah, literally, I don't, I don't know. I actually do not know what to do differently. Let's see if I can make it to 4 a.m. Oh boy, I made it to 4 a.m. Yeah, I made it to 4 a.m., Jesus. I gotta be very stingy. Very stingy, like as stingy, I gotta be Mr. Krabs with this power, bro. I gotta be Julius from Everybody Hates Chris with this power. I don't think I need to shut the door if Freddy laughs unless I'm gonna look at the cameras. That's the only thing I can think to do differently. Okay, so this man speed ran to the office. <sighs> so it does vary, it's not always 91%. Yeah, I hear thumping. I'm probably going to get early jump scared, but I don't care. I need to reserve power.
Yeah, I hear you laughing, Freddy. I know. Waiting for Foxy to kill me any second now. That's about as good of a start as I can possibly get. I need to pay more attention to when the footsteps sound and when they actually show up because I don't need to flash my lights every like five seconds. I need to work out a mathematical system like I've been trying to do. Maybe I'll do a light check every two percent, something like that. Of course this man's already almost ready again. He's gonna sit there for 30 minutes, so I gotta keep checking the camera and locking the door. man is hanging out down the street the same old thing Foxy did last week not a jump scare to do a jump scare to you. It's on five nights. It's on five nights. If I can make it to 3 a.m. with 50% left, I'll be happy.
It's possible. If Foxy doesn't come and bang on my door again. She leaves right now, and nobody else bugs me. No, I don't even think I can. I'm just gonna sit here. Yeah, that power's going down ASAP, and that, that clock's stuck on four. That clock's broken. Well, I'm improving, at least. Maybe there's some small chance it'll run out and then I'll get the world's super longest jingle jangle. Yeah. <laughs> Getting better. Alright, please let me... Why would you keep coming back to this, bro? I know the question and the joke and everything's been asked a billion times, but like, <laughs> did Scott even think about it? Well, the guy's just desperate for money, you see? I'm good. Not allowed to say what else I'd do for the cash, because it's not PG and we don't allow non-PG stuff on YouTube, but... I'd do anything else for cash but this. Unless it was some other, like, safety endangering thing, like Fear Factor or something. Because there were some things on Fear Factor. Throwback to Fear Factor, bro. Great show, but... There were some, like, things on that show. Like, I remember one time they had to walk along a, like, wet pipe, like, after it rained. Like, to a whole other building. And, like, that's impossible. Like, it, it was a wide pipe, sure, but it's, like, when it's circular and round and it's wet and slippery, like... You're literally just asking people to A, fall off, and B, like, fall off and, like, hit the pipe on the way down. And just, like, have a having a pipe rammed into your body will damage your body. I actually know that from personal experience. So, yeah, we're at the 90 thing. That's probably where I need to start playing. I'm starting to, like, zone out from trying so hard and then not making it. So, I'm going to try, yeah, menu... Try again. I don't even want to know what happens if I accidentally hit new game. I think I'll lose all my progress. Yikes. I'll be careful in the menu. I won't rush through that. No matter how impatient I get. I guess I'll start at like 90% checking the camera. I thought I heard something, but I was like, it's probably ambiance. This man be speed running. This is just the death stream, bro. I hate that. At least it doesn't start on new game. That would be evil. If every time you went to the menu, it started on new game and you had to scroll down. Just as long as I don't scroll in the menu, I'll be fine. If you're very quick with the camera, it actually doesn't drain your uh, usage that much. I 
hear that laugh, <laughs> but I'm not checking the camera. I hear that laugh, <laughs> but I'm not checking the camera. I know Chica's not here this early. I'm not worried about that. I'll need to do some, like, every 4% I check the camera type shit. Oh, I'm dead. I am already dead. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Freddy, are you in here? I didn't even check the camera, so I guess... Oh, this man's in the office with me, bro. He's in the office waiting for me to check the camera. That's evil. That's evil. You know what? If you don't have the balls to do it, I'm gonna let Foxy do it. Imagine I won like this. That would be a so glitched way to win. Just like, if I hear f shuffling footsteps at all, I'm gonna close the door really quick. That's wild Freddy's in the room with me, bro. I guess you do need to shut the door for a second if you have left. Ooh. So Foxy did not make any shuffling. Ooh. Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> you got the jump scares. Still wild, this man can literally be in the room with you. It was not safe to check that camera, but I did. Foxy is chillin'.
Chica's single-handedly screwing me out of this night. Jesus. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do. I'm already 66% through my power and I just got halfway through. So literally I think I would have to be left alone for the entire rest of the night to make it. And I don't, like I actually don't know what else I could have done differently unless it's just pure luck. I need to have them leave me the F alone. Probably not have Chico stand outside my room for 20 minutes. Yeah, that gets rid of like 10% of my power each time. And he's spamming it. And she's she's just sitting out there, so... I do not know. Yep. You want to come inside? Come inside. There you go. if they're standing outside if I can open the door and open the door and open the door and close it and close and close it over and over and over to reduce the power usage but even then that would probably only amount to a couple percent it would be risky yeah yeah he's about to ram into the door already Yeah, this man's still waiting there. I need to... I actually don't know what to do. I really don't. I will officially look up just a straight-up guide for Night 5.
So I looked up a guide, and it's literally the strategy I've been doing. So I just need to repeat over and over. Hope I don't get spammed like I am. Could be another close one if they don't spam me. I'm dead. Oh no, Ram! Okay, I'm not going to wait for it. It's wild that the strategy I'm doing is literally the exact one from the guide. There's another strategy that's like, oh, check the show stage first, because it'll freeze Freddy, so I'm kind of curious about that. It's too early for her to be standing outside like that, bro. I need to get down to like 85% without even using power. I will keep glancing at the show stage just to stop Freddy from going nuts.
Bonnie going out of his way to screw me over. This is the first. I think just like that I'm screwed. play out and how RNG is uh, even if it was it's not enough time for a whole obnoxious in-game hour Glancing at Freddy as much as I can in the beginning to see if that'll make the AI go easy or something. But I feel like that just makes Bonnie and Chica speed up to compensate. I'm really not even worried about Freddy. Now that I know how he gets in here. Maybe I need to start only checking for Foxy when I hear that laugh. 
really reserve my power. Whoops. Trying to take out two brids with one stone. Will Foxy get rid of Bonnie? He will. I don't know if I can win at this rate. I'm trying to do the math. I think two hours, that's like 34%. I guess that's about how far down I am. Bonnie is draining most of my power. Please go away. Please go away. It's still winnable if I hit 3 a.m. before 50%, but he is just standing there. I should have checked on Foxy sooner to make Bonnie go away. If I don't hit 3 a.m. by like 44%, then I'm gonna restart. Okay. Just barely possible. Ten percent. All right. Going to try a slightly more advanced version where I will wait till I hear Freddy laugh. Um, check Foxy, reopen the door, and then check Foxy again. Say, I don't know if that'll prevent Freddy from entering that quick door closed and camera. I think I need to look at Foxy more to stop him from ramming into the door.
But he's going to stand out there for the entire session. That scared the actual life out of me. That, like, moan she did. Bro. I think that was my first time dying to Chica. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is what we in the biz call a restart. I think even though I'm using more power... I don't know what the fuck the noise was. Uh, this is a maybe better strategy, because it's pausing Freddy and Foxy. So they can't do as much spam damage by power. weird playing this game with handicapped cameras, I'll tell you that. AKA controller, instead of mouse. Oh, I'm dead. Cool. about way too uh, luck based man
Gotta love Foxy spam, bro. Doing great on power, though. Jinx, ha 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 ha. And he's already ready to spam again. Great. Yeah, stand there forever. Very surprised that didn't kill me. Am I dead? I don't know. Hit 3 a.m., please. Or not, just stay two for the entire night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's a scary animatronic. <laughs> yep. Funny. Literally can't even take the risk. <sighs> While I was looking at uh, guides, I did see that the mobile versions are more aggressive. So apparently I'm playing on a harder difficulty than people on PC, even though my controls are less advanced. I shouldn't say less advanced, just less accurate due to needing to scroll through a uh, power system, or each camera rather. Does 2 a.m. not exist? Interesting. So I'm convinced that this level has glitched because Foxy and Freddy haven't moved and Night 2 is not coming. Or 2am. 
Oh look, 30 minutes later, night two. Or 2 a.m., I keep saying night two. Yeah, 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 it's spooky. And I'm dead. Cute. at him every now and then. I spend as much camera power on lights and checking on him. Yeah, I know. Footsteps. Oh, no. Is he not there? Okay, dude. I wonder if Foxy's time of coming out is directly related to Freddy. I hate that I'm wasting usage checking for these people that just left the stage. power of progress aside from Chica hogging up the power right now. Aside from Chica hogging up the power, thank you. Any day now. I think this might be the strat, I'm not sure. like all the racket that this background music is making. Uh, but it's ambiance. Might be the strat though. Don't know what that random bit of dialogue was. Um, 
bit of da -da -dum. Scott doing a random voiceover. I wanted them to hear my voice in the game. Freddy's giving me those evil eyes. I'm feeling optimistic. I feel like the AI is going easy on me, but I don't want to jinx it. is definitely going easy this round randomly. Oh, it gets I jinxed it. This man is chilling. Still possible. My hands are sweating. doing commentary, I'm just sweating. Full focus mode. Foxy's poking out, I don't like it. There's nothing more I can do.
Oh my fucking god, dude. I'm having one of those gamer moments where my hands are behind my head and I'm like freaking out and I'm jumping around the room and I'm knocking over my chair and I'm saying, let's go. Jesus fucking Christ. I had to spend like five hours being terrified and sweating at this game, bro. And I got a rare achievement for preventing Freddy from getting to those cams. Yeah, sixth night? <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs> and by the next video, I mean pretty much never. Uh, I think the only way I'd ever do that is literally if I became Markiplier Jr., like I said in my first video, and uh, got a billion comments. Uh, no less than 10 billion requesting me to do sixth night. And even then, uh, I'd flip a coin, you know? But I feel super accomplished. That is uh, legitimately one of the most stressful uh, games I've played. And I'm not doing the overtime, but I have beat Five Nights at Freddy's, so I'm proud of myself. I can actually say that, because that's literally uh, the requirement to beat it. Um, the rest is just extra. If you want to be an overachiever, and to all you overachievers out there, you got my respect. Uh, thank you to everybody who watched. Uh, I'm not going to rip off Markiplier's outro. Um, yeah, I, I just feel great. I feel very accomplished. Uh, you know, and if you want to feel accomplished too, I do recommend this game. It's only like $8 on Xbox, and it was a challenge. But you know what? When I beat it, I felt rewarded. So thank you for watching. And I hope you were, you know, pretty decently entertained through my rage and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> smooches! No, that's, that's... That's a little too flamboy for an outro. Let's make it nice and mask, you know. Oh, uh, catch you on the flips. Catch you on the flip side, bros. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm terrible at video outros. I just ramble. I'm just going to cut my...